Yeah. So outside yeah. of the music though, and outside of you doing the networking mm-hmm. and things like that, you've been going hard with like working out, yes. uh, <laughs> eating better. Like you've been on this health kick. Tell me a little bit about that. Okay. So about six, seven months ago, um, my friends got me in the gym, and I was doing a, like a ninety-day workout challenge. You know what I'm saying? That's how I started. I said, well, I'm going to give myself 90 days. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I um I dedicated 90 days, bro, like, 40, like four days a week, four or five days a week. And it was 90 days. You know what I'm saying? Well, I counted as like, you know, the weeks or whatever, like mm-hmm. five days a week. So it wasn't actually a whole 90 days. But yeah. You gave me like the weeks, though, the three months. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Five days a week for three months. And then, um, I cut back on a lot of sugar. I definitely cut back on the fast food. I don't really rock with that at all no more. It don't even sit right on my stomach no more. Like mm-hmm. I go rock with some tropical smoothie or some Panera bread or something like that. But like that's as far as I'm going with that. Yeah. Um, I just kind of grilled chicken, salmon, salad. You know what I'm saying? You don't really got to kill yourself for like not eating at all and trying yeah. to, you don't got to do all of that. You feel me? You can still eat. You just got to eat it in moderation. You feel me? You can't mm-hmm. be no glutton. So have you, know? you kind of got like somewhat addicted to working out? Yes. And being yes. healthy. Like once you, you like, look, I'm going to do it for 90 days. Yeah, I'll try it. But you end up liking it. So this is what happened. I was going to tell you that. After the 90 days, it didn't become... 90 days no more it was it wasn't a challenge no more it was a way of life right because i started enjoying how it made me feel and then i started losing pounds and then i started gaining some mental clarity and then i started becoming fit then i started running you know i was walking on the treadmill i was 410 pounds wow you know what i'm saying i'm 6'2 and some change so it don't really look like it because i'm tall but i was a big boy you know what i'm saying but I knew like at performing at that weight, you know, doing the whole carry the weight tour around when I first met you, I was 410 pounds. Man. You know what I'm saying? Jumping around like that. Nobody knew that, but it was weighing on me. Like, so you kind of more tired. I was now only getting get... two songs out of it. I'm yeah. Like, how am I about to go on tour and perform and do a 10 minute set or 15 minute set? That's a long time. It is. To be on stage. I know it don't seem like it, but to be on stage for 15 minutes, 10 minute sets, performing your music, being interacting with the stage, that's a long time. You gotta be fit for that. Right. And at the time I wasn't, you know what I'm saying? I wanted all of these things. I wanted to be on tour. Mm-hmm. I wanted to do all of these things. And I, you know, I prayed and I asked God, like, you know, can you help me do this? And it led me to the gym. Yeah. And right when I started losing the weight and the weight started coming down. Tour. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And now this is the second. It's my it's my third it's my third one. So now you ready. So with these South by Southwest performances you got coming up and yeah. Houston and then and um Austin, now you gonna be able to really get on these stages and do what you gotta do and not feel that that heaviness on you as well. Yes, yes. It's a it's a big it's a drastic change, man, but it's a you know, I, I and it, it's a drastic change, but it's a change that I need to make, man, to better my career, to better myself. You know what I'm saying? Health as well. It definitely is. You know, you want to talk about making these millions. You know what I'm saying? But it's like you ain't gonna be able to spend the millions if you're not healthy. You Where? know what I'm saying? I never seen a 300 pound 90 year old. Talk about it. You feel me? Think about that. Yeah. Nah. You never seen it. You're absolutely right. You feel me? I'm in the gym. With people that's like 72 and 90 and 84 and 55 and 58. And they in the gym every day, bro. They've been going to the gym since the damn shit. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? They've been going to the gym for forever. And I'm like, damn. He's like, I never stop. That's why my heart's still pumping. That's why I'm still living. It popped my eyes one day. I'm, I'm in the gym, right? I got... I think I had this is right before I moved to 35 pound dumbbells. I think I'm doing the 30s, right? I'm in the gym. I'm I'm in there going crazy. I think I'm doing some shit, right? I, you know what I mean? I'm going nuts in there, right? This old guy next to me, he get it, you know, he come and sit at the bench next to me. You feel me? He and sh- he, you could tell he's older. Gotta be like, I'm thinking in my head he like 50 or shit, like 55, right? Right. Scratch that dude like 76. Wow. I know. He in there, he grabs the 40s. 
It's 10 pounds bigger than me. I'm a big dude, bro. And I be doing some real, like, some real shit with them dumbbells. Yeah. He picks up the 40s, which is like 10 pounds bigger than mine. And starts tripping. I mean, super setting, going crazy. Making so you look like, you're like, wait, what? I'm looking at him like, bro, that's dumb. Them 40 pound dumbbells he doing this shit with. I'm talking about bringing them shits down, bringing them up, bringing them over. I'm talking about tweaking with a 40, bro. Um, so when we got through, I'm like, you know, because he for sure showed me the hell up. You feel me? So I'm like, <laughs> we got through. I asked him, like, dog, like, you know what I'm saying? If you don't mind me asking, yo, G, like, how old is he? Dude, like, I'm 74. Like, Shit. Dude, 74. I mean, I never stop, bro. Yeah. If you want to live long, never stop. And mm -hmm. I sat there, I thought about that. I'm like, damn, bro, I'm 400 pounds. I gotta get this shit up off me, bro. It was just too. I I didn't like how I, like I love being a big dude. Don't get it wrong, you know what I'm saying? But 400, I'm trying to get the 275 all muscle, like 16% body fat. So I still got that, you know what I'm saying? Bulk. But I don't want to be like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I won't look right. You know what I'm saying? I want to be too small. I'm like, fuck, you know what I'm saying? But. Yeah, you know, I, I want to look good, better, feel yeah. good. I can breathe. Mm -hmm. I get a good sleep. Nah, for sure. I don't need no CPAP machine no more. Well, salute to you. you feel me? Salute As I lost, for... I'm almost 100 pounds down. I got 10 more to go, and I'm 100 down. So Salute to you for knowing it. You you had to make a change and sticking with it. So and it's, it's a it's a journey. You know what Definitely. I'm saying? It ain't like a one and done thing. It's a uh, journey. So It's a life journey. Mm -hmm. Salute to you. Now, switching things up. Well, you got these TikTok challenges. Uh, talk uh, to me about these TikTok challenges. All right, so I got um, a, a TikTok challenge that's about to release when I get back from tour. It probably might release while I'm on tour. We on, we'll see how it goes or whatever. But I got uh, my new song, So Unique, that just uh, dropped. It was actually on the project. It's on Harder Culture. But I just released a visual for it. Um, me and Foreign Fortune, as you know, um, I'm a Foreign Fortune. You know what I'm saying? Me and Foreign Fortune partner together. You feel me? On the music, on the clothes tip. You know, they do my merch. You know what I'm saying? My marketing. They do a lot for me. You feel yeah. me? It's like, that's the team. That's, that's who I, I rock with. Right. Um, we did a fashion show. Um, in December, it was crazy. Um, had not just us, but we had multiple black owned uh, brands, you know, with, with phenomenal clothing. We also had um, a young lady that, um, black woman, you know what I'm saying, had a, had a furs. She had exotic furs, you know what I'm saying? So we really had a big turnout for the Foreign Fortune Fashion Show. And we shot the video for it, which was so unique, which was geared towards fashion. And also have another record called Design, which is geared towards modeling and fashion. Because you know, I, I love fashion. I love right. models and stuff like that. But, uh, <laughs> um, and the TikTok challenge is a transition challenge that's about to kick off. So you can turn from a rag doll, you know what I'm saying, to a bag doll, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> So it's um that's what's that's what's going on. So we we kicking that off. We got a, a whole major campaign on the way. So be looking out for that so unique challenge. I'm about to have a whole nation <laughs> going crazy to so unique, putting that shit on. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So be looking out for that. But yeah, that's what we doing right now, man. TikTok the wave. You know what I'm saying? I uh a lot of people are doing challenges to my brother. My son and my brother, they're doing challenges to that. Yeah. So that's what gave me the idea. Like, let me go ahead and do a campaign behind it and see if it actually gets me the results that they, you know, they claim it's going to give me. So we're going we gonna to see what's going on, TikTok. For sure. Now, that's what's up, man. You know what? I'm glad to see things are still uh, moving forward with you, Jay Rocker. Like, yes. like I said, it's only been six months since yeah. you've been here. So that means that you're really moving around. You Like, look, I'm going to double back to Cincinnati yeah, now and do some more back. stuff. So yeah. I, I like to see that you working for sure. What else you got coming up the rest of 2022? Oh, man. 22, we got a new project coming out. I got a, I was, I was about to drop a, okay, so I got two projects coming out, but I don't know how I'm going to drop them yet. I got a, I got a tape where it's called, Oh, I Can Rap, by the way. Okay. So, you know, my heart and culture more like singing, rapping with mm -hmm. the wave, melodies, harmonies. I'm giving y'all a little bit of that on this project, but I'm giving y'all like majority bar work, like Period. really talking crazy, talking shit, just going up. filling your ears up with the most Ignit is wild, it's crazy, it's a joy ride. This shit is a joy ride, I'm not gonna lie, it's, it's crazy. So, but 
I also got some. I got a. I got another project that I. Uh, that I've been working on called Foreign. What the Foreign Way? You feel me? It was recently expired. You know what I'm saying? By okay. you know what I'm saying? It was I was inspired recently, but. Yeah, we're going we gonna to do a, um, another project like that. So we, we'll see. Might be just, you know what I'm saying, a nice little project, you know. All right. Not too many songs, but just enough to catch a feel. Like, all right, yeah, he's still working, going bananas. For sure. But we got those coming. Um, you know we on tour right now. We'll have some more tours coming up for sure. I'm, I plan on be touring all this year, for real, for real. So you outside? Yeah, we outside this year. And I'm not playing with them. I feel like uh, it's that time for me to really just hit the gas, like really just go in, stick my <clears throat> like it's that time. I'm not playing with them. All right. So well, you know we're gonna be watching right here. Oh, yeah, yeah. We gonna, you know we gang. We supporting everything you got going yes, on. Every time yes. you drop videos, projects, all that, we got you right here at 401 Uncut. We locked in. We family, man. You know so it, you know keep your it. foot on their neck. Good luck on this tour. Yes. Uh, so glad yes. that you stopped by Cincinnati. I had to come to the Natty. Y'all show me so uncut. much love. <laughs> y'all show me so much love. 411 Cut, show me so much love, y'all. Y'all, as y'all understand, every time I come to Ohio, period, if I go to the A, if I gotta go to Tennessee, if I gotta go any surrounding areas where I gotta come through Cincinnati, I'm stopping here, bro. I'm stopping yeah. in, I'm tapping in. Y'all wanna do features with me, y'all wanna do songs with me, get in contact with another D, she the connect plug to me. She can hit my line right away, set it up, and it's up. You feel me? I also wanna work with some artists too, so let me know some artists that's popping, that got a fan base that's working, that's yeah. really working. And we can go ahead and swap out fan bases and really get it going. Like, Period. I really, I, I fuck with Cincinnati Heavy. I'm a Bengals fan, you know what I'm saying? You feel okay. what I'm saying? I, I so don't just say that, say no, I'm No, <laughs> like, you feel me? You see how I said it, you feel me? Because I, you know what I'm saying? I was rooting for them boys, man. You know, I wanted to see Jamar Chase, man, and my dog. Right. You feel me? Jackpot Joey get busy, you know what I'm saying? He get busy, but you know. But I, I, I fuck with the Nettie, though. I'm here, you know what man. I'm saying? So. Definitely tap in with me. You know what I'm saying? Put your Instagram and everything oh, yeah. out there. Follow me at J Rocka Music. That's J R O C A Music. You know what I'm saying? That's IG and Twitter. Follow me on TikTok at J Rocka 313. That's J R O C A 313. That is the number. So hey. go ahead, tap in with me on there. Oh, go subscribe to my YouTube. We just hit 2,000 subscribers, y'all. So. Boom, we, we we banging in action, you know what I'm saying? I'm doing this all independent, it's all off my grind. Mind you, I don't have no major backing, I ain't got no big homie, I am big homie, you feel me? So go subscribe to that J-Rocker music, that's J-R-O-C-A music, you know what I'm saying? Go subscribe to that YouTube page, run them numbers up, go get down, go download Heart of the Culture, man. We pressing that, right we now. pressing that, go download Heart of the Culture. I'm taking this show on the road, man, coast to coast. We going down south. We headed over there. We going to Texas. We coming back, man. We probably going to, man, don't tell him. I'm going to pop around on the East Coast somewhere, man. Don't tell him <laughs> with me, man. My reach long. I get around. You feel me? So be looking forward to me, man. The foreign way, on the way. I can rap by the way, on the way. New music videos, on the way. New everything on the way, man. I'm coming to your city. Well, we got you. We tapped in right here at 4-1 Uncut. Jay Rocker, thank you so much for stopping by. No, let's get it, man.